that whereas we have been supporting his father and we do still support him, we are not ready to support General Muhozi, President Mseve. You have been around for very many years as a president. God has been kind to you. Ugandans have been kind to you. Don't abuse our goodwill. And don't think that the goodwill we have had for you is the goodwill we are going to give to your son. If you are breaking, if you are not living by the law, when you are just an aspirant, when you become a forward, will you obey the law? Are we not going to see another Amin in this country? We are not in the politics to clap hands for a particular family. We are in the politics to ensure that there is a sanity. Uh, when we see a serving army officer coming out contrary to the Constitution, Article 208, and contrary to UPDF Act, Section 99, which requires that anyone in a uniform, should you desire to participate in politics, you have to resign or retire from the army. We are asking President Museven. Why are you doing this to us? What are you trying to tell this country? Or you are trying to confirm what you earlier said, that for you these, these documents are just nothing. These ideals, we are passed on to us by Ugandans who fought dearly at independence, for us to attain independence. We would want any subsequent leader to preserve the Constitution. When this matter of breaking the Constitution is being done by your son, you leave us with very many questions. Yes, you want your son to succeed you, but why don't you follow the a normal procedure? What is difficult? Why do you want to keep in the army and at the same time aspire for political office? What is difficult? Is there unfinished business Mohoz has to do in UPDF? If it is there, then you tell him to wait. If you feel, and the way we are seeing events standing out, that you want your son to succeed you, then you tell him to resign from the army and respect the laws of this country. Now, the evidence before us is overwhelming that President Museveni is carrying out two campaigns, his own campaign and the campaign of his son. And we are inviting all Ugandans to look at that scenario of being power hungry. Does he want to turn this country into a monarchy? Maybe we can change the constitution and establish a kingdom where President Museven is the king. And then his son will properly ascend to the throne as a, a, a crown prince. 
But the way the constitution is, or the, the, the precedents that we have seen in this country, Uganda is not yet a monarchy. We have monarchs like Ibusota Kingdom, they can enthrone their, their sons, the crown, the crown prince, Bunyoro, Uganda, we will not have issues. But when you seek an executive office of the president, and you want, you are running the campaign, where you want your son to succeed, that's very, very unfortunate. And we, we, uh, I will want to agree with my honorable colleague that whereas we have been supporting his father, and we do still support him, we are not ready to support General Muhozi. We are not ready. Within the NRM, we are calling upon all members of NRM to go down and register. And cherish our party dearly and continue to call upon members who are still sane in NRM that in NRM we are not going to allow this type of power uh, of ascending to power in this form. And uh, We want to ask President Museven, you have been around for very many years as a president. God has been kind to you. Ugandans have been kind to you. Don't abuse our goodwill. And don't think that the goodwill we have had for you is the good will we are going to give to your son. No. No. I know you are using a lot of money to buy people. They have called a, a rally in a massacre. But six buses are ferrying people from Kagadi. If you have people in a massacre, why are you ferrying people from Kagadi? Six buses. And I know it is the order of the day, even from Karamoja. People would come from Karamoja to go to Masaka. You find them, they, when they will be speaking in Luganda, they will even not understand what is going on. A rally is going to cost a fortune. Ugandans. Ugandans are still wallowing under poverty. We have just started parish development model where we thought there would be hope for the ordinary Ugandans. Now you are diverting money into the campaign of your son. Ferring people from Kagadi, ferring people from Karamoja and the other districts to go to a particular rally. We want to thank senior members of the party, like General Kahinda Otafiri, like al Haj Nadul, and others, who have guided the country and said they did not fight. That is not the type of democracy they fought for. We also want to use this opportunity to call upon members of our party, NRM party, who are moving around that they are in Pilau. According to the NRM constitution, that is clickism. They are supposed to go for disciplinary uh, causes. 
The other matter is that we invite them to the issue of breaking the constitution. Because when they break the constitution, when you are there, when did they get power? This is what uh, uh, my president, Theodora Sechkubo, asked. If you are breaking, if you are not living by the law, when you are just an aspirant, when you become a forward, will you obey the law? Are we not going to see another Amin in this country? Let's leave the questions to the Ugandans. But we feel, and our critical guidance is that General Muhozi should choose where he should belong. This thing of thinking, of behaving like a hyena, which started smearing this side, uh, uh, the smear of ants, this side, the smear of meat, then he uh, did like this the legs, and it ended up breaking into two pieces, splitting into two pieces. Choose where you want to belong, the army or the politics. And come out clearly. What are you fearing? If Tinka Simile Balinavas can go to his constituency without anyone, without being carried by anyone, and he wins a constituency four times, for you, the army general, what are you fearing? If you are incompetent, why don't you leave us alone? What are you fearing? You say you are a general. What are you fearing? You have all the, um, uh, all the money. Hmm? What are you fearing? Why don't you resign? Hmm? And uh, we want to thank you so much for listening to us. Hmm?